My name's Heather Beebe. I'm the Managing Director of CTA International, based in Bourges in France. So CTA International, this time at DSCI, is really positioning the next step in our journey. So recently, we're being on the Jaguar vehicle with the French Army and the Ajax vehicle for the British Army, both of those platforms are now going into service with the French and the British. What we're here to do this time is to say, Yes, we're going into service, we're ready to be integrated now onto other platforms in a variety of turrets. So the display that we've brought to DSEI this year is really illustrating the ability of CTA International to integrate our system onto other turrets. So the display you can see behind me is our showcase of a streamlined remote control turret, which is a lot more slimline than a standard man turret. And what we're trying to show the market is that you can choose the 40 CTAS system and we can either retrofit it into, say, a 25 millimeter existing turret, or we can put it into a new capability that takes our lethal system into another generation of operational environments. Yes, I'm Olivier Laporte. I'm head of BD and strategy at CTA International. I'm second lead from KNDS basically in this company. So far we are now moving into service for uh, Ajax in the British Army and Jaguar in the, in the French Army. Then two different uh, approach, two different configurations for our weapon system integration. One is a truck vehicle, Ajax, where the other one is a wheeled uh, six by six uh, vehicle, then we can sh see that we can be integrated in any of these two solutions. Obviously, we can also propose the complete suite of ammunition, which is uh, with the AP uh, armor piercing round, uh, the, the HE rounds. We've got one point detonating uh, HE and one airburst HE. These three are airburst rounds, time programmable fuse, HE airburst, but the two. Uh, very trendy ones are the counter US airburst rounds um, with two, uh, two versions, uh, one with um, bigger pellets of tungsten, another one is smaller pellets of tungsten, then we can uh, better optimize the fire onto, to, onto the target depending on the size of it and the speed of it. This one is more dedicated to tough targets at long range and this one is really interesting on smaller drones at, at a smaller range. And the final one I want to highlight is our uh, reduced range train target practice. It's called TPRR, the reduced range to access small ranges, which is very key for, for the new customers to come. The existing one as well as the new ones.